After Buzz fans, it's Katie Cullen and I'm here at Gallifrey One, Los Angeles' premier Doctor Who event. We're going to take a look around, talk to some cosplayers, and see what fans love about Doctor Who. Allons-y! I'm here with Laura, one of our cosplayers at Gallifrey One. Now, who are you cosplaying today? I am the Regenerating Ten, the saddest yeah. moment of Doctor Who. You are the sound of a thousand fangirls' hearts breaking. I don't want to go. Say that a little louder so we can hear it again. I don't want to go. Oh no. <laughs> so what gave you the idea to uh, do Regenerating Doctor? Um, well, last year I was Regenerating Nine. So I figured I'll just move up. Eleven's going to be hard because he just switched to Capaldi. But, um, but I, that's why I decided, okay, I got to do something different. Because everyone's nines and tens and elevens. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do something really, really different that no one has done before. So regenerating. Well, it certainly is unique. Thank you. Yeah, I'm hoping that peop when people see me, they either get like, oh, that's cool. Or that's the saddest moment of my life. Either, both. Either, both. Either, or. I'm okay with it. How long did it take you to make the costume? Um, uh, it didn't take me that long. Nine took a long time because I had to make that jacket. But um, this one, I, I, I was able to get some stuff and I made the tie last night. And then these things, I've um, been making over time. So it, maybe a day or two. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I am here with Mark. Now, who are you cosplaying today? I'm cosplaying Matt Smith as the season six cos. So the 11th Doctor. Yes. And why did you choose this cosplay? Uh, the hair kind of chose it for me. Well, that's a good reason for it. You might as well steer into the skid. So, did you make it, put it together? It's a bit of hobbled together pieces and lots of tracking down pieces on eBay. I just recently found the correct pants, which were a nightmare to find. So you're a perfectionist then? I am, which makes me really bad the fact that everything from the waist up is horrible on this costume. <laughs> Well, waist up is about what we're seeing right now. Yes, so, I know. all the work for the I record, this, gone forever. Oh, well, for the record, I'd like to disagree. I think it looks good. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much. Enjoy the con. Cheers. I'm here with Donica. So, who are you cosplaying today? I am the tenth Doctor as a Can Can Girl. That is fantastic. Did you make the whole thing yourself? I made everything but the corset. And how did you make the skirt? <laughs> um, many hours of time with a serger and a ruffler. Wow. Do you mind if we get a detailed look? Certainly. Do you want to see the underside? It's atrans. So. That is impressive. Thank you very much. It was a, a learning experience, <laughs> to say the least. It's like, nah, the skirt that ate my sewing machine. That You know, I'd buy it. I really <laughs> would that that happened. I have a, a progress photo of my sewing machine surrounded in masses of ruffles and it really does it did kind of devour the entire thing and I was trying to push it through it was bad well it turned out extremely <laughs> well you. I'm very proud of it there's a couple of other can can dancers that you'll see um, wandering around today so you might you might spot us we're a troop we're the um, from the Mulan who yes all right well thank you very much I'm here with Isaac and Gabriella. So who are you cosplaying today? I am the Doctor. I'm cosplaying as Madame de Pompadour. From uh, Woman in the Fireplace. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's yes. the one. All right. Uh, did you make these costumes? I did not, but this is all hand done by, by Gabrielle. I did, yes. I did make my costume. That is incredibly impressive. Can you tell us a little bit about the process? Oh, yes. Uh, there's so many layers to it. Uh, I mean, I have a corset. I have a cage skirt under here that I modified. Uh, I did make that by hand. It's just I had it from uh, previous Madame de Pompadour dresses. And uh, so I just it needed a little tweaking. But um, yes, uh, yes, I made the underskirt, the overdress. That's from a pattern. Um, uh, but what I did have to do in terms of modifying it was modifying just the way that it opened and uh, I did make the necklace, um, making the necklace out of, uh, I made the jewels out of resin and I made uh, the rest of the necklace out of just different beads and uh, filigree stamps uh, and just hooked all those together and it was quite a process, it's been months. <laughs> so you did everything? Pretty much everything except for the shoes, the tights, which you don't really see, uh, and some of the jewelry. Uh, I believe everything else is, yes, done by hand. That is incredibly impressive. And why did you decide to cosplay the Doctor and Madame de Pompadour? Actually, I, my, my, my first Doctor was five, Peter Davidson. And then they rebooted this uh, season, which was wonderful. And then David Tennant happened. And uh, people just kind of said, do it, because 
this. <laughs> Which, which also takes a long time. Nothing like this, but you know, this is a good uh, you know, hour, hour and a half every day. <laughs> well, that's always a good reason to do it. <laughs> I, this, the Girl in the Fireplace is my absolute favorite episode, and I just, I fell in love with her, the character, her relationship with the doctor is just beautiful, and I just think she would have made a wonderful companion because of how, I mean, she is a, an actual historical figure, so just how smart she is and how just well-rounded in terms of all of her talents are, and I, I just love that about her. Um, I thought I kind of looked a little bit like her, so I thought I, I, could, I could do that. I She's could do prettier. It. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Happy Valentine's Day, I guess. Yes. I have a Valentine's Day card for you. And you oh. too, if you like. Oh, well, thank you. Who's your favorite doctor? Patrick Troughton, the second doctor. David Tennant. Peter Capaldi. <laughs> I'll go a uh, Tom Baker. I have many, but I'm going to go with Patrick Troughton. Peter Davison. Oh, the fourth doctor. Uh, Tenner. Christopher Eccleston. Peter Davidson. Five. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, Dr. Eight, Paul McGann. I have to say. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Ninth, my first. Oh, dear, that's a question I'm always, always asked. Um, I think possibly Christopher Eccleston. Ten. Favorite companion? Clara. Jamie. Romana. Sarah Jane Smith. It's got to be, oh, what was his name? He was a Scottish guy, Laura Kilt. Jamie McCrimmon. Ooh, I'd have to go Sarah Jane. I love them all. <laughs> Jack or maybe Donna? Jack. Amy. River. Donna. Madame de Pompadour. Oh, goodness. Uh, Donna. Donna. Favorite alien? The Daleks, of course. I don't know. I'm going to have to go with the Ice Warriors. Weeping Angels. Uh, I like them all. But if you had to pick. <laughs> uh, I'll go with the Daleks. Chassini of the France and Greg. Time Lords? The Doctor? Rex Quirico Fallopatorians because that's really fun to say. I guess that would be the Ice Warrior. Sensorites, because you didn't say villain, you said alien. Sensorites were, the, were um, a fascinating alien. They weren't technically alive, but the robots from the Girl in the Fireplace episode. Yeah, the clockwork. I just, uh, yes, the clockwork robots, I love them. I'd say Slovene, because they're always at least funny. Slovene. The Doctor. I wouldn't say my favorite alien, but the one that troubled me most was a blob in a, in a glass jar. And the blob was actually a brain with an eye and it used to sort of pulsate and it gave me nightmares I mean I would I would wake up going, oh! <laughs> that's amazing yeah and favorite villain the master the master Daleks the Jadoon the Daleks I like both of them as aliens and villains Cybermen because we're very tall oh the master I'm gonna go in master the monster from the God complex I suppose it has to be the master the doctor He's, oh, he's. <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm just gonna say the female master because I can't think of. I, I can't yes, think. Yes, she is the worst villain ever. That is the worst villain. Master, the guy who yells Naimon. <laughs> what's what's his name? <laughs> Saldine! It's Saldine! Well, that's it for Gallifrey this year. Hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you all next year. In the meantime, I have a planet to save.